This teacher video is relevant to theme handling data unit pictograms. And in this video tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to use the mix program of the JIT website to record the children in your class's age in a pictogram. So to do that, first of all, you'll obviously need to navigate to the JIT website by typing in this web address into a web browser. You can also use the short URL to get there by typing in this or if you've got access to the portal you can follow the appropriate steps to get to the JIT website there. Once you've got to the JIT website we need to sign in so you can see that we're not signed in at the minute because the orange button says sign in. So if I click on that you'll then need to enter your school's credentials so the school name, um, your username and your password and then click on the green tick to log in. Uh, I'm now logged in and I know that because the green circle, instead of it saying sign in, now says save. So once you've logged in, you then need to go to the mix program. And you'll need this top right hand option here. Um, and, and, and scroll across to the pictogram mix, which is this one. And once you've got that option selected, click on the green tick. And basically what you can see here is it's taken a mixture of the pictogram software and the right software. So it's mixed them together. I can create a pictogram here and then write about it at the bottom. So in order to record the children's ages that are in your class, you, there actually isn't a template um, available, as you can see, to record the ages of the children. And so the only option that you've got is to create your own blank template. So if you click on that, you can then start by, first of all, labeling uh, the different age groups that the children can choose from so five six and seven now I obviously only want three different ages because there's probably only going to be three different ages in the class so to get rid of these two boxes here I can just click on this and each time I click on it it removes one of those boxes so I've got my three options and that that isn't it because if I start actually recording how many people are five by clicking on the plus you can see it doesn't create the pictogram and the reason for that is I actually need a picture in here in each of these boxes to be represented on the pictogram and because there's no actual uh, pictures relevant to age the only other option we've actually got is to use the um, paintbrush tool here and choose a small brush and inside these boxes if we can just very carefully draw the number that we want to appear in the pictogram and you can see because I'd already pressed the plus sign it's now got one on there I'll just take that off and then if I can very carefully draw the number six in here and the number seven it, it can be quite difficult but if you just take your time and do it as best as you can um, once you've got those ready you can then ask the children to put up their hand if they're five and you can record those in your pictogram so there might be three five-year-olds Ask the children then to put their hand if they're six, and again, there might be more of those. The only problem you've got is when it goes above a certain number, you can see here, look, that it starts cutting off um, the actual picture within the pictogram. Uh, but as long as you can explain to the children that we can clearly see here that, for example, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children who are six years old. Um, and so again, it, it, is a, it is a useful tool to represent a pictogram of the children's age. So once you've done that and once you've recorded the ages of the children in your class, it's very important to then explain to them that for any type of graph that we ever create, a, a, a title is very important because the title should show you or explain to you what the graph is about. And so you might want to ask the children what might be an appropriate uh, title to put in the graph and they might come up with um, age of class to be pupils which is obviously a, a good title it explains the pictogram very clearly and once you've got that what we're actually trying to get out of the children in this and how we're taking it from year one to year two is or, or grade uh, or uh, pre-kindergarten to grade one is that we are we're trying to get them to actually explain their pictograms so what you're looking for then is that they can click inside this box here and actually write a short sentence or two explaining what this pictogram shows so you might be looking for something like um, 
in class to be most pupils are six years old and then to further extend that for maybe a higher ability you might ask them to write two sentences so in class 2b most people are six year old and they are six years old and they could only then put only um, three students or three pupils are seven years old I just make that like that and there we can see that they've analyzed this pictogram they've said you know that they've recognized that most people in the class are six years old and the least amount of people um, are seven years old and, and that's what you're looking for in this unit of work and that shows you how you can record the children's uh, in your class's age